Hey, what's up everybody? This is Bedbug Brun. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is episode 7. So the first 6 episodes is one massive sit down that I did um, like 10 days ago. So that was the first time I played Going med Medieval um, for like a year. So since then I have played it big time just on my own on a separate game trying to get familiar with all the update stuff. And for the most part, I've covered quite a bit, but there's still so much more to go. Um, but anyhow, I hope that my gameplay will improve since the last, uh, or the first six episodes. Um, where we left off last time was uh, we were raided, so we still have things all on the ground. We lost two people, and part of that gameplay lack of practice, I'm pretty certain that... Had it just been, you know, used to the game, I probably wouldn't have suffered any losses. Um, but it was pretty brutal. We lost two, and we are on... Oops, let's see. We are on... Survival, Hard Mode, and Mountainous. That makes it very difficult. And to lose two settlers in one raid uh, almost dooms this entire series. I'm not kidding, because the last time they sent, like... 15 to 20 or whatever it was it was a good number of raiders and survival it just keeps piling it on so if you lose any settlers you're really struggling the next wave attack but uh, we're not going to worry about it morale is pretty high around here and hopefully we can uh, fortify up in a smart way and um, take the enemy if anything maybe uh, we'll win we'll Technically, there will be defeats, but maybe we'll have so many walls up that they'll just run out of time, and they they win those. Um, but the goal here is just simply not to die. So, um, cool. Well, it's been 10 days since I've seen this uh, gameplay, and I'm loving all my trees. I measured them out for the most part. To, uh, that way, when I have archers up here on the balcony... Ooh, a cow. Is that mine? Domestic, sweet. All right, we're going to get working on training. Um, but I measured it out to where it's basically the tree line is the outer limit of our archers. So, um, sure, the enemy can come in with light crossbows and be beyond the trees, but they're going to be blocked by the trees, their line of sight. Um, but none of my trees that I'm growing are going to block my line of sight. And that was kind of the key point. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I, I, I listen to everything or watch all my previous episodes. I'm not going to spend a lot of time recapping because then every episode is just like 15 minutes of recapping. So we're just going to hop right in there. I'm also going to try not to talk so much. We're just going to let the game speak for itself. Uh, one last point. I did have troubles with the volume of the microphone. Um, I did find a way to increase. It went from like, let's say, 80 um, is the default setting for the, the microphone. I pushed it up to 100. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. I also turned down the ambient game sound, so we'll see. I'm just going to spend some time here, figure out what's going on. Let's look at uh, the jobs. First of all, we have idle. Now that's, that's rare for me right there, but I, I've been talking. So um, what's the deal? Smithing cooking mining and construction and with all that and as well as hauling so that must mean we're out of space um i'm really surprised we can't we must not have fuel or something we don't have the ore and i don't have anything dedicated so charvel we're gonna fix your little so many of your idle problems with just this i'm gonna keep it small who's our miner our number one is gun one gun. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Gun is too important for other things. Charvel needs some busy work here, so we're going to get him to, uh, to mine his own product. And then with that, he'll be able to come over here. But uh, I mentioned this previously. I don't want to make too big of a job of mining because I don't have anybody just dedicated to that so if I were to put down like 20 squares of here mine all this then that job will be basically a unlimited time if I put three squares he'll do the three 
actually, the second he makes ore, he's going to switch to mining or smithing, which I'm fine with. It takes a while for these things to run. So it'll produce like 30 ore, run over here, get that started. I don't actually need ore, I'm just doing it to uh, boost his um, skill level. Smithing is 11. And I learned too in my other gameplay, I just want to push up to 20 as fast as possible. That way I can make uh, mechanical components. Okay, so that's fixes Charvel in so many ways. Let's look at gun. Carpentry, number one. Construction, number one. Growing, wait, what time of year? Midsummer. Construction one, huh? We're not really building, so it's not a huge issue. Tailoring number two. This guy loves botany, but really, we need these two things the most. This guy loves mining. Let's just do that. And then we'll say research, but it'll never get to it. That's the other thing that, I, well, I've already known this, but generally in a day, unless they just run out of things like what happened with Charvel, most times, at best, they can do two different jobs in a day. So for now, I'm going to keep it minimal as possible. And this guy is going to do what he loves. Get some mining going. Switch to construction. Start picking things up. And if there's time left in the day, do some research. I like it. Um, this should be reorganized. I'm going to put fives in cases something like cooking. You just want it to where they're pretty much never going to cook. But if you click them and say manually do it, you won't, you know, it won't cause problems later. So that's why I'm doing five. What's the goal here? We got growing going on. I'm sure we got flax that I can continue to put down. I got more cabbage seed. Can't do beets, I'm sure. Herbs, definitely not. Flax, tons of flax. So yes, let's just do this, this, and almost certainly not going to make it to construction. We're going to take it easy on the tailoring, although, yeah, we'll take it easy on tailoring right now, and just for simplicity. We're just going to get it out of sight. So growing, harvest, cutting plants, three. really trying to narrow it down and I'll just look for idle one way to tell if you're doing a good job of you know programming your task is the number of times you see your characters go idle if you can keep it to the bare minimum everyone's specializing and you don't get any warning signs then you've done a good job uh, looking at my previous gameplay of this I mean, um, series, it's so cramped. So I do need to spend some time constructing and expanding our space. I just don't know. Oh, really not paying attention here. Victorious. Uh, just dead bodies and stuff. Oh, right. Okay. We're going to have three days of hell for sure because it's going to take, let's look at friends. I got 14 hours to go to let that go, basically. Dead bodies, kind of the usual. When does that expire, though? Four hours, so we'll get over that pretty soon. But I got friends that have died, acquaintances. So I got three more days of hell with that. Yeah, not great. 
This guy is eating shrubs. That's the good thing about cows. I'm going to say training, but nobody's going to do it. Damn, 15? Maybe. The first thing... How about that? Two. Two. There's only one animal, so there's not a whole lot of training going on. We'll try to train the dog as well. One of the dogs. Oh, damn. Okay. There we go. like to see that. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the orders in here to let's just safely uh, you can say cut. We'll get that. we doing on food? We have no food. That's not good. Who do we have available? Tending wounds, great. This guy's hungry. Let's take that pretty seriously. Try to get that goat. And then maybe mushrooms and stuff like that. Nice and close. One shot, one kill. You guys suck. These guys are wildly inac inaccurate. Okay, this is our best chance right here. Get in tight. Breathe in. Well, this is important. Obviously, my marksmanship is terrible anyways. I saw that coming. They're starving. They have experienced a loss. This guy is going to be rebelling anytime soon, too, I'm sure. Try to get close. That's the first hit. <laughs> if you leave it in attack mode like that, it'll take a long time um, to get your next shot in. But if you shoot, move and then shoot. Uh, it's a kind of a way to get around that. Okay, good. Mission success. We need to harvest this animal before gun uh, rebels. That way there's food available to everyone while they rebel. Cooking, okay. This is why we have it set to five for situations like this. He's annoyed.
I guess I could have dropped it. That or it's waiting for it to be on a stockpile. There we go. Not good. We're currently at 20. And what is it? Rebellion occurs at 15. So we just need to get this food cooked. Charvel's back. All right, Charvel. Go get a wolf or something. Plus, we need to actually, yes, work on training. We're going to need a, a pin. need 30 ore for each furnace so we got enough for a whole round of iron making gun do not eat raw meat this is going to make the situation worse let's manage and just have to be careful when you say meals specifically because worst case scenario you might need to eat some raw stuff like vegetables or honey or whatever it may be all right gun Cook it first. Okay, we have food. And we have enough to make another round. We're going to let Gun eat. And then Gun can cook another round. Charville's busy with smithing, smithing. Just look at this real quick again. There we go. Now that gun's eaten, and we just have some heavy negatives here. It's just no way we're going to be able to compete with that. Job satisfaction helps out quite a bit. Elegant apparel. Actually, target mood, 28%. Maybe gun won't go into rebellion as long as we are um, eating. Charvel, you should probably hunt get more food and training let's see what the old melee is looking oh yeah this will actually help with job satisfaction as well it's considering it's double passion i love the fact i got my trees going over here i forgot about this get them fight back i'll take it this will get a good uh practice Get a little damage and then that way somebody can um, do some tending he's not even damaged enough excellent I don't know how much experience I bet you it was like 300 though double satisfaction that'll negate this minus 14 22 Minus 28, boy. This guy's doomed. If that merchant comes by with uh, alcohol, that'd be great. Speed trap, terrible. Speed trap, only other option. Let's just run to him now, see if we can get some good stuff. Yeah, this always happens. When you're broke and have nothing to offer, they'll offer the world. Sheep. Oh, darn. Definitely want sheep. And chickens. <laughs> okay, let's just see what we even have to offer here. We'll stick with the fundamentals here. And over time, we will be the rich ones if we have enough apples. So 47... We're going to have to sell some stuff. Let's just max out seeds. Our skills is tailoring and wood making, uh, wood weapon making, so we're selling our goods. So it's not too bad. We have skills here. We're making money to buy things. Uh, we don't need flimsy caps anyways. I, I generally like to break these things down, but at best you'll end up getting like one thing of leather or linen. 
flimsy. We can get rid of that. We'll make more. Keeping the carcass. All right, so now we're in the positives. Good, good, good. We are out of space, so let's just sell our stuff. And then maybe we can buy something cool. I don't need this or this. Yeah, let's do that. Be aggressive with it. I would love to buy any leather, any textiles. That'd be great. A short bow. Fine. Hell yeah. Maybe we'll get one of those sheep. This is another case of we are spending our time and energy building up skills, and now we're going to at least have something to where we can generate some money. Okay, we might be able to buy some stuff here. So, boom. Exchange of goods. Economics 101. In fact, we'll sell everything. Okay, and then that will give us an opportunity to make more. Okay, cool. So now we got a credit of almost $800. What are our options? I want things like cattle and sheep and goats. That'll pay off in the long run, especially when you're a tailor needing wool. Hell yeah. We'll start off getting a goat. I mean, it's kind of pricey considering my guys are like level 15 animal taming, but we got money. Might as well buy up all their food and we'll just deal with it. Ooh, here we go. That's what we need. We owe 141 somehow. <laughs> Buying animals is expensive. I want the male-female pair. That's the most important thing. So let's figure out where else we can give our money back. Actually, hate to do it. But we can make this deficit up pretty easily. 20 books, I can handle that. Let's just do this. That's a lot of stuff. Seal the deal, man. Kingdom of York. So the main thing is plus 12. Sweet. Okay. So for sure we need a pin. Question is where? I want to try to give them some grass. Technically, I don't need to, but it doesn't seem realistic to raise them on concrete or uh, limestone. Okay. You know, it's bad when you don't even have sticks. Actually, I'm not going to destroy. <laughs> For once, we can use our shrubs. Our animals can just eat off of that until we get enough hay. I mean, we have 129, but that's not a lot. Okay, I'm just going to indiscriminately clear out these small patches of trees. Get some wood, get some sticks, and clear out space. Okay. We're going to need limestone and we need to expand. We need more space. And we're going to build on this side of the building. So what I'm going to do is set up a stockpile. Very high priority of just one square of limestone. So I have somebody dedicated to mining and maybe that person I'll manually say send over limestone here 
This way we can get walls built around it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my botanist is going to be busy with trees and getting wood, also helping with the construction effort. In fact, we will say build or put wood here. One square. That'll give us 200 limestone to build and 200 lime, uh, wood to build. And then it can go elsewhere. We got our miner in place. same kind of deal here high priority very high I like the label in case I forget later on sticks okay boom very high and then this guy can help fill it up Of course he's going to trap himself. I hate doing it. Like, Alright. So annoying. Charvel's unhappy. Charvel has a double passion for melee, and we are out of meat for the most part, so let's fix that. Get rid of the wolves. There we go, fair fight, took a little damage. Opportunity to have my wounds tended to, so. And we got meat. We'll get him. Is he passionate about cooking? Yes, he is. That's gonna also help with jobs, satisfaction, a little extra morale.
that's a case of, you know, a symbiotic relationship here. We have the miner close to the builder who's using limestone. So even when it comes to the hauling, uh, the animals don't have to travel far. And there's just a fresh supply. So the construction goes a lot quicker. Everybody's kind of working in coordination. I could have people making, you know, items or tailoring and stuff like that. But uh, right now, everybody's kind of producing materials for the build. All right, I'm also going to implement something else here. Um, this does a couple of things. What time is it now? We'll get them extra sleep. But I'm going to stagger the, sl the sleeping schedule. And this is more of a preparedness um, strategy. Did you sleep at all? Yeah, we'll tough it out. We'll give this guy, let him sleep, get extra sleep, and then reset him. It's a preparedness strategy. So that way when we're attacked, we don't have everyone extra tired and potentially rebelling in the middle of battle but it's also a micromanagement thing if you you can kind of focus your attention mostly on one or two and the third one sleeping generally I'll do groups of three like morning shift mid and so on let's look at his sleep can he make it to the end of the day and then go back to sleep. Yes, he can. Let's get to work. Boom. Look how cramped it is. That's terrible. I've just got beds in the corners of rooms. Let's see, there's 12 days in autumn. I mean, this flax isn't going to make it, right? By the time winter hits, it needs 20 days. Spare room is good now. It used to be awful for the whole time. I think we're going to switch gears with Hingis and make him construct. Okay, we got Charville back. I interrupted his leisure time. That's probably not a good idea, too, considering they're all really unhappy. Dubious booze. It's a nice band name 
Okay, so what went into dubious booze? I guess that's from vegetables and stuff. Maybe we will stop doing that. <laughs> I'm not a fan. So what we'll do... Something like this. That's interesting. So you can make different things, maybe, by combinations. Okay, that's just the, uh, the floor. This is just for building sake. We'll put a door here and here. Just so it's easy to get around. I'm not sure where we're, what we're going to do, but it's a significant. That's basically doubling the amount of square footage here. Uh, in terms of beams, let's see, this is. Oh, perfect. That just was pure luck. Cool, so I can run beams this way, adding stability. That was just like the perfect amount of limestone down here, 200, 200 units. And what we'll do is switch Hingus back to uh, mining when he wakes up. What we're going to do is we're going to get these things grouped up nice and neat. And that way the dog or someone else can bring full stacks. So that's not the route I was hoping it would do, but we'll use the stairway here. Sweet. Once he gets to about right here, we'll tell him to pick this up. Boom. So nice and organized. Take a little dirt. Dirt's actually a, a rare commodity. It's not rare, but you know it's hard to come by. There's so much lime in the mountains. Almost maybe 10% dirt, and you got to mine it out. Okay, we'll let them eat. We'll send the herbs over here. This is what I kind of perfected over the past 10 days. Kind of figuring out the best, most efficient way to get these guys to haul things okay that's kind of close it looks like a lot of time wasted but what it's doing is it's making it easier for the long haul to have full full loads taken Boom. 
full stack. Okay. What else can we do while we're here? We do need wood. Why don't we just get this harvested? I'm gonna get the other berries over here. Okay. Now he's gonna come over here and only pick up what he needs because he's preparing food, so we're gonna tell him, nah. Pick it all up. Now that we have enough, let's hop over and uh, let's not waste our barley and red currants on cooking. Unless we're starving, we'll just have to remember to turn it back on. Barley, red currants, yeah. Good. This is where micromanaging and doing it, uh, creating full stacks when you're, you, you know, being the lumberjack and you're far out on the map, this is where this sort of thing pays off. I'm going to use the stairway to get all this wood in one, st close to one stack. So we'll say here, oops, all this. So since this is close by, I'll pick this and this. And then once it gets to about right here, actually to right here, I'm going to tell him to chop this tree, that tree, and so on. But actually, we're going to pick up our mess, make it easier for the haulers. Yeah. It's going the other way. We'll get him up that stair. It's important to look at the schedule though, because if I interrupt his leisure or something like that, he won't eat and so the next next time is gonna be one o'clock. Charvel's cooking, gun sleeping. So I can just focus my time and energy on this guy. Red current. Just micromanaging the crap out of him. Get him up the, uh, there's boom nice and neat everything's getting picked up for the most part it's also kind of smart like if there's enough trees around to like only do pine trees and then only do just to keep the stacks where it's not so many different things that way you can pick up multiple pine saplings what's he got 35 we'll run them up this and then We'll chop this tree down. Eleven o'clock. Got him for two more hours. I see my miner is constructing. Oop, let's, while we're doing this, he's constructing, and I got plenty 
of limestone. I have it right in the middle of this project. Let's just double check on them. Oh, okay. Well, that's also important. That's probably more important. He's out of fuel. What a waste. He's probably got one lot. He does. See? So we'll have him pick up some stacks here. Since you're here. This guy will run it up. Try to get it next to here. And then Charvel can pick up the rest. And he can bring back 120 instead of just one log. Huge improvement. Okay, after this, we're just going to have Gun run the wood and he can do a little bit of leisure. This is a case of um, this is why I do two hour blocks of leisure because if you're far away from the camp it'll take an hour just to get there oh goodness what the hell whoopsie okay well good luck gun <laughs> we're out of here not sure why I was so exhausted must be spillover from the change to the new shifts. I don't know. I thought he got extra sleep. All right. He's woken up and he's going to go drinking. So hopefully he'll make it. I mean, he has the whole rest of the day left. What happened here? Sleep zero. All right. We're going to have to take measures here. We're going to give him an extra hour or two. I'm going to leave this up and let him take a three hour nap so we don't forget about it. Boom. Wood prominently loaded right, right in the middle of the construction site. That way doors and stuff get built. What a huge letdown to have dubious boo booze made when you're desperately in need of something to drink. Okay, sleeping it off a little bit. Let's see how much. Doesn't need a lot because he's going to be sleeping again. Here, 18. We'll just give him the two hours. Put that back. He's going to garden. We do have... 115 wood. Plenty of sticks. That's fine. Have the urge to get all hands on deck to construct, but there's no need for that. Gardening right now is pretty uh, important. Harvesting's important. We need a lot of hay for our domesticated animals and get the most out of what, what we can with these gardens. Everything will get built. I mean, this pretty much covers everything. It's really cramped, but this is not 100% essential. Um, I mean, it's important, though. Wow, these guys are already mature. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no.
Just in time. I don't know if I even lost my other sheep. Oh, I okay, they're still alive. That's the most important. Male and female. Make more sheep. Okay. Let's do a little support here. Sweet. That's a win-win right there. More meat, which we desperately need. Get a little more leather. Okay, where's the other sheep? There we go. Now you're getting a Charvel. Anyways, I hope right, you enjoyed so. it. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I'm trying to build a community, not just for the algorithm. Of course, it helps the algorithm, but I would like to get to know the people who actually watch uh, my gameplay. So say hello, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.